Hello everyone and welcome back to the last Remnant Remaster. Let us continue on. See if we can find and save Irina. Dilmur. Your talisman holds a mysterious power. <laughs> this power can be used outside of battle? What do you mean? Can you show me its power now? I can try it though. Manipulate time. We give an advantage when battling monsters. Ooh. Use it wisely. So basically, you can slow down time and tag as many enemies as you want and initiate them all into battle. This way, you will gain more stats as you fight a lot of monsters at once. But we're not gonna do that on these easy monsters, remember. It doesn't matter, if the enemies are easy, you will still not gain a lot of stats. Especially not gonna do it now since I don't have any of my long-term party members that I'm gonna have. So we're just gonna keep avoiding monsters for now. The ones we can avoid anyway. Dilmur map. You can also you have a mini map, but you can also do that. This was once a prosperous town. It was centered around the remnant of peace, the rubber soul. Was there a war? No. The one the remnant was bound to passed away. The world is filled with countless remnants. No two look alike or share the same power. However, they all have one thing in common. And that is? When a remnant is not bound to a soul, it calls forth disastrous misfortune. This calamity is known as the Collapse. Shh! Hide yourselves! I see them. Two men. And a dark-haired little girl. What did you do to her? This must be our cue.
It's triggered another collapse. That white dress jack jackass like portal through like Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat, that was kinda cool. <laughs> So even now I'm gonna start focusing on... Torgal is a really awesome damage dealer. And I'm gonna focus on co combat arts on him. So even already I'm gonna start only using... As much as in my control, only use combat arts with him. So I triggered all critical and the last hit as you just saw was a guaranteed critical hit. We have higher morale than the enemy as you can see so we deal a bit extra damage. There's no way I will lose. Be careful. Ooh, nice. Thanks for the heal blaster. Oh nice, got another dodge. Take that. When it does on standby, it's the turn isn't completely wasted by the way. You, they still regain AP. I completely messed this up. That's what happens when I talk and not pay attention. But it's not a big deal in an easy fight like this. Like right now, the heal command, for example. The keep your HP up command, there's a mystic art with Torgal. And I said I wanna combat, focus on combat. But it's, that's why the disabling ability is really useful. Things like this won't happen then. It's a really nice feature that you can disable enemies. So you focus on other enemy, uh, other abilities, sorry. So once I get Torgal as my party member, I will disable Mystic Arts on him completely. Alright, got physical hit for the last one, but the last one was only normal attack. Oh, that poison is nasty. But I flanked him. Prepare yourself. <laughs> not bad. Like Mystic Arts with Torgal is not that bad. It's just not that type of Mystic Arts, the evocations or whatever they call. Once he learns Pisionics, then using Mystic Arts with him isn't that bad. <laughs> And as you can see, different music when you're about to win. It's really awesome. I love this game so much. I've, I've put at least one over thousand hours in it in the past. Piece of cake. And uh, you can capture monsters. You can split them for materials. It's, uh, some materials are only obtainable through dismantling a monster. But if you don't need the materials, you can just sell the captured monster for gil. You can 
not dismantle, sorry, split is the right term. Or you can just, yeah, the, the game does explain it to you. So you just press X to split it. You can choose to not display the warning again, but I'm gonna keep keep it letting me warn, so I don't so I don't by mistake split a really expensive monster that is better to sell. It was as you said, Lord David. The flying creature is unquestionably a remnant. Confirm this with the Academy. Yes, my lord. Who could be behind all this? We do not know enough at this point. Verily, this situation is more complex than we'd imagined. Yes. We should postpone any course of action until we know more. What about Arena? Should I just keep my fingers crossed? We are not dealing with an ordinary foe. A well-researched plan is essential. Dave, come on! Toggle is correct. We are dealing with forces that control a remnant not even the Academy knows about. Jumping to conclusions will only place Arflam in danger. You must understand my position, Rush. Where are you going? To find Arena, obviously. You know how the people of Athlam are the most important things in your life? Well, Arena's the most important thing in mine. Well, thanks for the help along the way. I'll go it alone from here. Lord David, we still know nothing about his talisman. Perhaps we should have stopped him. Perhaps. I am aware that we need more power, as the Gaybog and Valeria heart won't suffice. The future of Athlam is at stake here. Arena. Feeling better? Picky eater, huh? Sorry, the menu's not fit for a princess like you. Hey. Rush. Rush is dead. <laughs> Stop mourning the dead and eat your meal. You are vital to him. You should be honored. Hey, wait up! 
How long are we gonna keep her like that? Let's just hand her over. You pity her? This whole deal makes me sick. She's just a kid. I am merely following the Lord's orders, as you should follow mine. Fine. Then give me some real orders. I'm sick of being a damn babysitter. As you wish. Let us go forth to the next remnant. <laughs> yes you do so now we can use the union board maximum in your party is now two uh, un maximum units are two but maximum characters per unit is three So we need to recruit some people. Let's start with that. Let's go to the pub. Well, we can... The maximum unit was three. So we can recruit two people, that's with Rush, that's three. I'm gonna recruit one person from the guild. So guilds, you can recruit member from employee units. And you can also do guild tasks, which give you rewards. For example, have a party member with 26 strength plus strength. I just completed that. And you get rewards like that. So it's just... As you complete these, new ones will unlock as well, so I'm gonna recruit McGrady. So go to the union board and confirm units, rush, huh. and then number two spot should be, well, you need to to replace unit, Leave it to rush me. is there, and then select McGrady for the second spot. There we go. Formation is formation changes your stats depending on how which formation you use, and uh, depending on which spots the units are in each formation, you may dodge some AOE attacks monsters do. So just experiment with them and, and so on. For now I'm just gonna go with which formation gives the best stats for that unit I use. We need to recruit a second guy and that will be from doing a side quest. Let's do it. Actually it's kinda... This... This unit will be staying with me for a long time. Yeah, we, but we need to start with our first side quest to unlock that. Sure, I'll do it. It's in the Robelia ruins. By selecting quests on the party menu, you can check your current progress here. Yeah. So you can do multiple quests at once as well. 
This one is a tutorial quest, so it gets completed automatically. It's just a simple quest showing you kinda how it works. Nothing major. Tell the Mitra I said uh, thanks. So Mitra is the human race of this game. Because there are a few races. Uh, you saw Blockter, and you kind of fish type race. <laughs> and you saw Pagus, kind of toady type. And you saw Torgal, which is a, the Sovani race. They have four hands. And cat ears. <laughs> Completed quest, the day's beginning. Alright. And with that I unlock this quest. But let's talk to the guy in the pub. So you know Sala play Athlums for Sovereign State. They're in the north or so talking to him will, will unlock Sala play City. So that's important. But let's do this Balsons quest first. Let me save. Yeah, sure, I'm up for it. He just needs a hand because the task likely will leave him outnumbered. Let's go to the Gasling Caves. Kid. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, I do have map of that area. Save this kid. It seems like all the bad guys end up in this cave. <laughs> This is the boy? <laughs> wow. The toad race, these guys are called the Xetis, or however you pronounce it, I don't know. Gotta save him. <laughs> G 
guest unions, you cannot assign commands to them. Yeah, okay. So you will find guest unions with you in many quests and uh, other sometimes in the main quest as well. Come on, let's kick some eggs! Ha! How do you like that? You okay? Oh no, I got flanked. Nice dodge rush. That's the boss. Alright! You see it. Oh wow, Balsam took a big hit. But now we can flank the boss. It's not a big boss, so flanking him is doesn't take three deadlocks. One deadlock is enough. And Balsam is dead. I guess we're not flanking him anymore because Balsam just died. Yeah. So it's just us and We have to keep our HP up. Uh, if I go out of deadlock, he might rate lock him, so I just play it by it. Take this! Ah, he's dead. He's dead. He's My health, thank you. <laughs> if you need a partner if I pop up by the guild then let me know. Alright, so you can recruit him now from the guild. Awesome. He's a really awesome unit. He's really he de re deals really good damage and later on he will also be able to heal. I'm gonna be using him for at least at least half of the game. unit he costs 2800 we can afford him all right let's add him to our unit union board replace unit leave it to me third spot add balsam increases our the stats of this unit awesome all right we're set all right that's gonna be it for this part thank you so much for watching if you Enjoy it, please like, favorite, subscribe and share the video and if you want to support this content, please do that on Patreon or Twitch. Also, Patreons get early access to these videos, so I post them earlier there before I post them on YouTube. Just as a thank you to everyone who are supporting there. I really appreciate all the love and support from all of you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.